What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Precious Robot here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a world spawn using command blocks. This is good for protecting your builds or your spawn area or keep your enemies away from breaking blocks. I'm currently in version 1.19.4 right now. It's simple to do, it only requires two command blocks. And what it does is it'll keep you in adventure mode while you're in a certain area. And then when you leave the area, it'll put you back into survival. Like and subscribe. Thanks. So the first thing you want to do is get a command block. That's pretty easy. Slash give uh, your name. And then you can start typing like that. Give myself command block. Boom. Now I have two. Don't need two. Only need one. And damn. All right. Now the first thing you want to do is place your command block. Uh, so just place it anywhere you want. Doesn't really matter. Direction. I like mine facing up. However you want to do it. Doesn't really matter. All right. And then we're going to place another one right on top so this is going to be in the exact middle of wherever you want your protected area to be uh, you can put this underground hide it in a wall um, however you want to do it it's really up to you but as long as it's in the middle it will work and there's other ways of doing this too i'll show you in some other videos okay and these two have to be in the middle and they have to be on top of each other because it won't work otherwise and what i'm going to do with this one is i'm going to change everybody's game mode to adventure when it's within a certain area so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say execute if entity at, uh, I want to say E, so anybody in here. I'll show you guys a little later some different filters you can use for this if you want to just have certain people effect or anything else like that. Uh, I'll go into that a little bit later, but for now we're just going to do distance of distance equals uh, the two dots is up to, so everything within 10 blocks. So it's going to execute this if there's an entity within the distance of 10 blocks from that command block. If there is, we're going to say run, game mode, adventure, uh, at E. Okay, so game mode, adventure, everyone at E. Uh, game mode equals survival. So what this is going to do is everybody in survival with the distance up to uh, 10 okay so what this is gonna do is it's gonna change everybody's game mode to adventure if they have survival and then we're gonna change this to repeat always active very important repeat always active done it'll change it to a purple color you do want to be careful with this and make sure you have the game mode here for survival because if you're in creative or something, or you're trying to change these, as soon as you get close to them, it's gonna put you in adventure and you're not gonna be able to change them or edit them unless you destroy them from afar using a command block or something. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. So just be careful with that. Okay, so now the second one is gonna change them back into survival when they leave the area. So we can actually take something similar to this and just kind of change it around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Control A and then Control C and that'll select all and copy. And I'll go here. So now we're just going to kind of change things out a little bit. So this is just going to be uh, the reversal of it. So it's going to change it to game mode, survival, if they're in adventure. This is going to be a little bit different because we're going to have, we're going to take all this and we're going to say everything from 12, which is two blocks more than 10, up to... 15 so I give it like a three block uh, distance so whenever anybody in adventure mode goes outside the 10 block radius into the 12 and 15 block radius it's going to change their game mode to survival okay so now there's that now let's go down here and change this one and this is just going to be pretty much the same thing you'll just change it to 12 two dots and then 15 so say your area is 20 blocks it would be 22 to 25 uh, if your area was 30 blocks, it'd be 32 to 35. You just kind of give it a three block radius after your initial inside radius. And that's what that does. So if there's any player within that radius that has the game mode adventure, give them survival. And then once again, we'll change this to repeat, always active. All right, and that's pretty much it. Now we're going to test it out. So uh, I'm going to go out here away from the 10 blocks as you can see i'm going to change my game mode into survival so now when i get within 10 blocks it should change me into adventure mode 
boom, adventure mode. So there we go. And then now when you leave it, survival. So as you can see, you can't change anything. You can't break any blocks. It's pretty, uh, yeah, you can't really do nothing. But as soon as you go out here, put you back into survival, boom, able to break blocks again. Look at that. And there's some different things you can do with this too. Uh, you can kind of filter who this affects. So if say you have like a team or a teammate or something and you want them to be able to build here, but not anyone else, you would change these, uh, you would change it within here. And I'll show you how to do that. So the way I would do that is with tags. And to use tags, what you would do is you would hit tag and then your name and then add. And then you would um, make up a name for your tag or your team or however you want to do it. So I'll say, uh, team one and then I've added the tag to myself and what you would do is you would add that tag to everybody on your team that you want to be able to uh, be in survival in that certain area and then anybody else who doesn't have that tag it's going to change it to adventure so that they can't break blocks there and then to do that here's what you would do so once we have the tag team one we would just say we would go to this one right here and we would say tag equals and then we'll do an exclamation point so what this is is it's going to select everybody that doesn't have the team one tag comma so it's going to change everybody that doesn't have the team one tag so that's anybody but your team game mode survival within a distance of 10 done so what we're going to do is we're going to go out here uh as you know, I've already given myself the team one tag, so survival mode. So this should, yep. So survival mode, it doesn't doesn't affect me. I could still I could still break blocks, as you can see. Boom. Okay. Now, if I go here and uh, to remove tags, tag, pretty simple as well. Precious robot, remove uh, team one. So, if you don't have Team 1, Adventure Mode, can't break stuff. So, as you can see, this has a lot of really cool uses. I use this in my Magic and Rituals RPG Adventure Survival map. If you need any help with this or questions, just leave it in the comments below. I'll help you out as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, everybody.